have an inside and very personal look tonight at the debate that is looming over the growing measles outbreak in America. You're about to meet some parents weighing the pros and cons of vaccinating their kids. Should these people have freedom of choice or are their decisions endangering the rest of us? My Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang on the front lines tonight. Hey, how are you doing? Ariana Johnson is worried. Not about her three-year-old son's lingering cough. Good job for me. Oh, wow. The other one? Oh, oh bless you. <laughs> but rather that it might be more serious, the measles. And on the phone you were concerned because there's the measles going on. Yeah. 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 So concerned they called in their pediatrician for a house call. The Johnsons live in affluent Orange County, ground zero for the largest outbreak in recent memory, sweeping the nation. I always tell people if anybody's concerned about a rash or measles or anything like that, it's good for me to do a house call. I don't think it's the measles. Turns out Little Smith doesn't have measles, a disease essentially eradicated in this country, but now resurging. A spike of 102 cases confirmed in 14 states already this year. The American Academy of Pediatrics and most doctors blaming the trend among some parents saying no to vaccines. It's the so-called anti-vaxxer movement, which believes vaccines can be harmful, creating frustration in the medical community. We need every single child in the community to be protected against measles with vaccines so that that one individual child who maybe didn't get full immunity from the vaccine will still be protected. And confusion for some parents asking, should we or shouldn't we vaccinate? It's a hard decision to make as a mother. The Johnsons are among a growing number of parents who've been hesitating. Her parents vaccinated, my parents didn't, and, and so to, to kind of get rid of that belief is a little bit tough. It may potentially harm my child. But now with this outbreak, they're reconsidering their stance. I just want to be able to do what's best for my, ch for my children. The CDC believes the outbreak began in mid-December when a sick overseas visitor went to Disneyland. And since then, it spread. Just this week in nearby Santa Monica, one baby with measles shut down an entire daycare center, leaving 14 babies in quarantine for 21 days. The baby was contagious while in the child care center before a fever broke and a rash started and the parent was concerned. I'm, my baby is too young to be immunized, so I feel like we're at everybody else's mercy until, you know, he's old enough to get his own shot. The rules vary from state to state, some public schools allowing exemptions for religious or personal beliefs. That Santa Monica daycare remains closed, and just today, health officials warning parents, once the school reopens, all parents must show proof of protection from the measles. All this prompting some doctors to refuse treatment to unvaccinated patients. My office has a very strong vaccine policy. It's not as harsh as it might seem. It's standard practice for Dr. Levine, a pediatrician in New York and member of the American Academy of Pediatrics. If a parent chooses not to vaccinate their child, not only are they putting their child at risk for preventable diseases, but they're putting other children in the community at risk. But not all doctors are drawing such a stark line. I do not say I will release you from my practice if you do not choose to vaccinate. I actually continue the conversation. Orange County pediatrician Imam Barr practices holistic and integrative medicine. Many of her patients choose not to vaccinate and she doesn't drop them from her practice. With such a highly contagious airborne virus, isn't it sort of unethical to be on the fence about this? Don't you need to be strongly advocating for them to get vaccines? I, it's not my role to force people. That's the controversial approach she's taken with many families in her care, like the Baileys, who held off vaccinating their infant son. But mom Eileen says she was also influenced by high-profile celebrity moms, like Jenny McCarthy, who told CNN that vaccines can be harmful. Without a doubt in my mind, I believe vac vaccinations triggered Evan's autism. I remember Jenny McCarthy coming on um, TV and claiming that um, the vaccinations had caused autism for her son and that has been uh, really just something that has scared me to my core as a mom. Many anti-vaxxers clung to a now widely discredited 1998 report linking vaccines to autism, specifically the MMR vaccine for measles. The report was later retracted and the researcher lost his medical license. McCarthy has since softened her stance, saying she's not anti-vaccine, but has concerns about the safety of some. The science has won the debate 
it's overwhelmingly clear that vaccines are safe, they're effective, and they're the best way we can protect our children against these preventable illnesses. And we just need to shift the ties now from fear to parents actually feeling good about their decision to protect their children. How many adverse reactions there are to receiving the vaccine? And Two days after the house call, the Johnsons have more vaccine questions for Dr. Barr. But the one that is like for the brain, you know, concerns, um, that is like one in a million. No vaccination today. Yeah. Maybe another day, or probably not, or still. Maybe, maybe another day. I, I think that we'll do. We'll continue to do a little bit more research. A lot of people calling Orange County the ground zero for the measles outbreak. Does that concern you at all? Uh, the numbers are still low enough where it's not so much a concern for us. My kids are in jeopardy with kids that aren't vaccinated, and I don't know anybody that doesn't vaccinate their kids. But then aren't you benefiting from everybody else doing the right thing? You know, that's a good question. Uh, yes, definitely, obviously, I'm, I'm benefiting from that, but, but I'm not trying to fly under the radar. It's all right. You're gonna it. The Baileys, on the other hand, have had a change of heart. I'm really relieved that I got it done now. Um, just because I can have a little peace of mind that he has that first um, barrier of protection now. And we're all better now. And the fact is, the medical community is essentially unanimous that the measles vaccine is not just good for the Baileys, like it's good for everyone. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Orange County, California.